I just watched two people die. Well, I guess technically I only watched one of them. But that's not the point. Point is, apparently we're supposed to do a trial now. Now, I want to be honest with you here. I've got like an hour ish. So I'm not going to be able to go through the full trial, but you're going to take what you get and you're going to eat it up like the greedy little f Sorry, I got a little carried away there. But point is, last time I played this, I forgot that you have to do this. Yeah, I didn't save any of that from last video, <laughs> so I had to go back and redo everything, and it was kind of redundant, but I went, got back, I redid everything, and you know what I did? I accidentally clicked on her right after the one girl, Junko, I think her name is, died. Junko, however you pronounce that. I'll probably get flamed in the comments, but the point is, so that's why she's suddenly here, so forgive me for the misclick, but... We're right back where we left off, like right with her laying on the ground dead and all that. So we're just gonna go right into it and see what happens because I've got like an hour and I've already used up four minutes of it. Before we start searching for her killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area. If the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Now I'm wondering who, who might've done it. My guess is this guy. Is it bad that I almost just said Bakugo? <laughs> Yeah, that's a fair point. I mean, he's got a point, but also still, uh, the killer would try to say that to cover up his tracks. I seriously think it's Bakugo. Oh, shut up. No one likes you. We're putting our faith in the rest of you. I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. And here we are. I have not gone any further than this other than accidentally clicking on her. So we're going to start talking to everybody, see what happens. I was looking through the Monokuma file we received. I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. What are you talking about? Take a look. Know anything interesting about where she died? In Makoto's dorm. Well, yeah. Oh. Oh, boy. Could this have been planned? No. For just one night, I traded rooms with her. She was afraid. What the heck? That's... I mean, can you blame them for not, uh... For not believing... Other than this, to find out who killed her. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation that construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong, I'd rather you do. <laughs> she hurried out of the gym. I'll be going too. Oh, so we're just not even going to get to talk to him. Better head to the scene of the crime. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, they better not let him find me. I'll skip the trial and cave their damn skull in myself. I kind of like this guy. I'm not going to lie. We're not detectives. We're going to investigate a murder. How do we even do something like that? Yeah, we already know who can- Okay, listen, man. Whoa! Never seen her get that crazy. But hey, again, can you blame them? I'm trying to think about how they would be thinking here. I couldn't help investigate. I'm not good with blood. Honestly, fair. Why is he suddenly so red? Is that just me noticing that? Okay. Yeah, too late. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we already heard this. Brother, you let your horniness get you into this position, all right? I'm just saying. You got horny, your flagpole went up, and now you're about to get killed. So, investigate. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizona. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. Discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests the death took place in the bathroom. Stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist, so she was fighting back. Suffered a fracture. No choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find out the truth so that we can all survive. And for her, I have to find out how she was killed. Okay. Susan, I don't want to die. <laughs> oh. I don't care who it is, just get me out of here. Yeah, he's not gonna be any help right now. What about this girl? Aren't you gonna help investigate? That's that's a bit suspicious, I'm not gonna lie, but you know. So we're leaving. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. How are you gonna sleep in there now knowing this happened, bro? I better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. What's up, bulky? This looks like Levi's wife. No, I'm I'm sorry, Levi. I had to say it. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. So she's like me, pretty much. Okay. I quietly called her name. What are you 
you? Isn't it obvious? Okay. No. Not really. I hate your voice, bro. Searching. Searching? Down her knees, carefully inspecting every inch. Contact or something? <laughs> Drop my contact. Better go wash it off. If you know, you know. <laughs> she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. We'll have to trade keys. When we switch rooms, we switch keys too. She would have the key here in my room the entire time. If that's true, then how'd the killer get into the room in the first place? Yep. Well, that's scared she was. She wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. Oh, so, oh, here we go, here we go. On the night of the murder, Makoto and Saka traded rooms and room keys. When the victim was discovered, her room key was also found in Makoto's room. Sayaka had a, Sayaka had originally asked Makoto to switch with her when someone attempted to force their way into her room and she became frightened. So, so my thought here, it would have been someone that, wouldn't they have had to force their way in? Because she wouldn't have just opened the door, right? She would have let them in, theoretically. What about, is, is my screwdriver still here? Yeah, I don't see any evidence that it's been used at all. Okay, it's mine. I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I need to touch it, but. Yo. What's what? up? What? Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. We were talking about it yesterday. Yeah, why would we? Okay, maze unopened. All the other male students claim they haven't used theirs either, but still. Can we investigate other rooms? I wonder. It looks like there's way less than there was before. Did she see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? Don't say it, 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 don't say it. That's a woman for you. <laughs> Let's try this. The replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does it mean it was using the attack somehow? It's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. Shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coatings come off parts of the blade and the handle. Especially is missing a lot of coating. I and mean, the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. So, theoretically, either her hands are coated with gold or the killer's is, theoretically. Am I correct on that? Uh, is this just gonna be the same thing? There's some scratches, but how the sheath- Oh, I- Probably should have read that, but it's fine. How'd the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword in a struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. If you attack someone with the sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. And a heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? I have no idea what that would mean. Uh, Makoto took this from the gym entryway and put it in his room. The sheath was found some distance from the sword itself, and it shows evidence of being scratched with a sharp job deck. If you attack someone with the sword, you would almost certainly remove the sheath first. This is all a lot of nothing right now for me, at least. So what's this here? It's the displaced thing the sword was on. Thanks. Needed that. The mastermind must be using them to keep an eye on everything. Duh. I mean, this is essentially Hunger Games, bro. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? No. Really? I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. That would have been. That would not have been possible. Yeah, they already said the walls are soundproof. They've already told us this. Perhaps this was another one of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Gouges in the bed like someone attacked it. So theoretically, either she was struggling and then fell into the bed while struggling, or they. <laughs> They broke in, swiped at her bed, she got up, and this makes no damn sense. Like, how much of a struggle did you put up that even the bed is hurt? More scratches here. I got you. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Okay. Oh, this thing. Nope, that's still here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. Thanks, man. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body. There's a trash room here in the dorms. They could have tossed some stuff in there. Anyone who raised their hand to a woman is a scum that deserves death. That's what my brother's taught me. Hell yeah, brother. I'm gonna pound his face in. What if it was a girl that did it? Yo. <laughs> okay. All right. That's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. But if you just like later study stood up straight. There we go. I got some. Are you a clean freak? No, I don't think so. Nodding. You should glance around one more time. What's interesting? Just that specter. There's something very unusual about your room. Okay. What is it? I've searched the floor from one corner to another. I didn't find one single strand of hair. Not one hair from the victim and not one hair from you, even though you've been laying in here. You know, now you mentioned it. I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roll in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it? Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roll without your knowledge. Someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. That's the question, isn't it? Oh. All right, can we leave now? I guess not. A single hair was found on the floor at the scene of the crime. In addition, the lint roller shows evidence of being used. Now can I go in the door, the room? The bathroom, and on the other side of this door, oh, here we go. It's green this time, instead of being 
pink. Can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Force myself to push my panic down. I stepped into the bathroom. <gasps> Dead person. Oh, Lord. It wasn't a dream or an illusion. She lost everything that made her her. All I want is overcome with Disney's knowledge of the earth. Dude, yeah, no, I couldn't imagine. Like, find out what happened. I wanted to give up, I wanted to collapse, but that thought held me up and supported me. This genuinely reminds me of one of my cats died recently. It was the type of death where it was sudden and the vet said we couldn't do anything. The poor thing crawled under our couch and we found it the next day. And just seeing it just there lifeless, just the way it was curled up and just knowing that it's gone. That was such a terrifying thing to witness. And I know people who like they, they live with like hundreds of cats. And so they, these things die all the time. But for me, whereas I had five and now I have four, that was like, I, I think I would consider that traumatic. That's all. Yeah, isn't that writing? 11037. I noticed that the first time around, but I figured it would come back to it. Did she do this? One one was it one one zero three seven? The water for the shower gets turned off at nighttime. Okay. And let's look at her. Told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but now's no time to think like that. Pulled out the file to verify what it said about her body. Sharp object been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever these kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. According to the file, she's her right wrist is broken. Right wrist does look swollen and bloody. Hey, there's the gold. There's the gold. Well, her wrist is all swollen. There's something glittery that definitely concerns me concerns me is there's something there's some blood left on her index finger but that's it the palms of both her hands are totally spotless so how come only her left finger which means she that must be what happened earlier on i mean how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed so it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle they attacked her in the main room which is when her wrist got broken after that they cornered her in the bathroom where they killed her okay but notice the little pink goo on her uh Pink goo, blood on her finger. So she wrote, what was it, 11037? So where can we input a code? In addition, her hands appear to be completely clean except for the index finger of her left hand, which has some blood on it. Yeah, so she probably wrote that as the killer was leaving and her life was fading. So, looks like you found it. The bloody numbers, that's most likely so we're gonna, Say Sayori? I've got Doki on the brain, bro. Sayak. <laughs> Ever since I've written in blood before, it really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? I have no idea what that could possibly mean. The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. While she was sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand towards the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? Well, think about it. You're not going to tell me? <laughs> okay, Frick you, bro. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. If she turned around to do it... Would it be reversed? And if it's reversed... L... What... What is this? That's nothing. But I don't know anyone's names who are E-O-L-L. -L. I have no idea. I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask the ultimate programmer? Okay. Broken? You mean I'll get stuck? I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When first I used it, I thought it was just locked. Once you learn a trick, it opens no problem. Correct. It doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. You didn't know, so we'll try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. Okay. And it what doesn't close or something oh the doorknob's gone the doorknob's practically about to fall off why is it like this someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it whatever it was it's obvious this was intentional why would someone want to do that maybe they're trying to get the door unlocked and end up breaking the whole thing but my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it only the girls bathrooms can lock right Ooh. I have just one more question for you. I like this one I like this one I mentioned earlier your bathroom door gets stuck did you tell anyone about that just her just her only you and her knew about that. I see. That clears that up. What clears what up? I'm lost. She... As if I'm forgetting I was even there, suddenly turned and left the room. So is she 100% suspecting me? Is that what's going on? I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. Start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD she got. I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. On top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. I think that DVD was in the trash, so I'll go get it. Hey, what you want, bro? Doesn't seem right. The file said she was killed in your room. Yeah. Could it be the nameplate? What? What's that supposed to mean? Why is why is the nameplate highlighted? What does that mean? What was Miss Mizona? <laughs> Miss Ho? Oh, yeah, that's the last names. <gasps> okay. Oh, that's true. They switched the nameplates. Interesting. 
Switch. So all that effort I put in switch room is not even noticing. It was totally pointless. Why would anyone do that? Okay. All right. I'm pretty sure the disc is in here. Yep. What did she see? It might be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. Uh, let me check her sewing kit. Yeah. All right. One last sniff of her bed. One last sniff of her. Oh, okay. All right. right. Oh, she was hiding a coin in there for her. Don't say it. 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 Don't. Coin slot. Sorry. We are going to watch the DVD real quick and see what's on it. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. Here we go. Well, I mean, I figured. Yeah. Yep. This is what I assumed was going to happen. Oh, here we go. Here we go. But then... They're all dead or something? Are they all dead? They are. Oh. This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. Damn. Them. Wow. Without warning, the video cut off. Which makes sense because she was freaking out about relevancy and now she has nothing to be relevant with. They're a super famous pop group. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like. That wouldn't that be obviously that would that would cause a stir, wouldn't it? We want to see if we can find where the murder weapon may have come from. You sir! I've uncovered some Okay. Yep. You hear me? Just so happens. I can't. <laughs> Forget beam. What does that mean? <laughs> is it is it just the nameplates for Switch? Brother, you're a bit late to the party on that. Where would they have gotten the knife from? The dining area? Let me look in these rooms real quick. To kill someone, just save your own life. And I've been living with someone like that. I, yeah, I would agree with that. If the mastermind really was going to get involved, they would have just killed on day one. By the way, how's your investigation going? I don't do blood. I already know who did it. Yeah, okay. I mean, I don't blame her. I wonder if there's a time limit on our investigation. Is that a hint to get to get moving? I'm gonna check in here real quick. Though I don't think anyone's in here. Can I check all of them? Nothing to do with this case. I'm gonna check all of them. Hang on. Nothing. Nothing. Except for a coin. Nothing. Nothing. Except for another coin. Thank you, sir. And all right. This is why you're thorough. Checking the dining area. Hey, you. I'm just taking a break. I've been taking a break since we started. This is all first for me. That's a fair point. Being in the dining hall helps me calm, so I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. I was doing the same thing last night when she was killed. Let's check the trash. I've never actually been in this room before. Ooh. What's this? Hatch on the floor. Door on budge must be locked. Really? Oh, but there's a coin there. All right, cool, great. All right, what's this? There's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. What's up, bro? This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? So who's on cleaning duty? So who's on clean? Let's <laughs> go around ask the other. We get it! So who's on cleaning duty? There's apparently a trash room within the school. It's blocked off by a sturdy gate that can only be opened with a trash room key. Okay, so who's on cleaning duty? <laughs> can I start looking in the, the rooms? Okay. You, sir! Did you kill her? I bet you did. Can you tell me anything about cleaning duty? Such You're like a child lost in the woods. Uh, thanks, man. <sighs> Taka's the only one who has any interest in organizing things like that. We have our answer! Also... Rude. Who's on cleaning duty, you little bastard? As a matter of fact, Monokuma came and talked to me yesterday morning. To he probably realized I was basically in charge, so he decided to talk to me directly. Assigning cleaning duty. So you're on it now? Actually, no. Who is? He Fumi was also there when we had this conversation. He volunteered right away, so I let him have it. So he's on cleaning duty. Indeed, but we'll swap out on a weekly basis. I'm sure you'll be up before too long. And when that time comes, I'll be counting on you. That's great. 
Which one's he, Fumi? You put the fat guy on cleaning duty? Come on, man. Bro's gonna eat all the leftover food that's on the uniforms. It was you, wasn't it? I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? This is what happens. Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. So I applied for the position. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. Since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room. Of course, it's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. Do that. They gave me the key for the trash room gate. I'm supposed to be once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going through all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw away? things whenever we want that does seem more convenient actually anyone who kills a fellow student becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered if anyone would go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted then destroying evidence would be easy the throw would disappear and things would become boring I mean, more important than that <laughs> why would she want the cleaning duty gig anyway so to volunteer for something i knew no one else would want to do it what's the big deal i know why you did it you want to dig through all the <laughs> uh no way to think about this next I would never get tired of 2D. <laughs> oh, Lord. Give me a break. I'm embarrassed to say stuff like that. If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy is clean, he's secure, I can accompany them from picking up trash, disposing of it. Which one's secure again? This is as you claim. Where's the harm in it? That's not how it's supposed to. Anyway, on another topic, since you aren't cleaning today, I have a favor to ask you. So now you suddenly want to join my party. Sorry if you haven't triggered that flag yet. You haven't helped me recover from a past. Okay. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. So easy. So he and I headed to the trash room. <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned to get by on the. What? What? <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Anyways. Here we go. Is that trash I see already? If I was, you'd be there to watch it. So. Bro, this isn't a comic. Let's hurry up. Yeah. Anyways, there's stuff here. Charge a broken glass guy around in front of the incinerator. It looks like it used to be some kind of glass ball. Just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Okay. Do you know what this is? They say if you collect all stuff. Okay, it's kind of a thing you might see on a big street corner. Gaze into it, it'll show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who's on the quest to find that one guy. What? I hear what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. Is that the is that the fortune teller guy? How about this thing? There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Like a hunk, like a hunk of burning. What? Dude, you're so weird. This is, it looks like a piece of cloth, and it looks like it's bloody, bro. Button up shirt, like, uh, like, like, uh, like, uh. This is all that's left of some of the evidence that the killer destroyed, but there are lots of people with white button up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is, but it sure helps. Okay, let's look inside of it, shall we? It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's good 30 feet from here to the gate. It's on right now. Pretty simple setup. You push the green button to get it going, the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave. Yeah, someone turned it on. Yeah, he said he realized what he just said. He said, the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. There can be no mistake. I've got one thing going for me. It's my memory. Don't ever talk like that again. Definitely wasn't on. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. Since the only one who has the key to open the gate, it should be impossible for it to be on. That means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. How is that possible? Stole the key from him or he did it? Mmm. Those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. What does it mean? Will you be confessing soon? <laughs> All right, all right, chill. Sounds like he's living out his comic. Yeah, it literally does. Uh, okay, this is supposed to turn off, I believe. Is that it? This, I see you. That's a huge trash can. Is that where we're supposed to put whatever trash we can burn? Whatever it's for, it doesn't look like it's hiding any clues. But a coin, I'll take it. All right, uh, I am out of time. So, yes, this has been an hour. I cut a lot out and I apologize, but next episode will be much longer, uh, like an hour or longer. I apologize for how short this one is, especially with it being an investigation, but we've gained some good ground and I'm gonna not remember this. I'm going to save as well, just to make sure. We've got it saved. I'll be back. I apologize. I thank you for your grace. And just subscribe, please, because I'm really... I was about to say horny, but that's not the right way to end a video.